powers of attorney. Power of attorney helps somebody step into your shoes and take care of anything financial for you. So think of bank accounts, think of real estate, think of your businesses. So if somebody's got a power of attorney over you and let's say you have a, a car accident and you're in a coma and you're in a coma for three months, four months, that person can now help you keep your finances for your good. They cannot do it for themselves. They can't squander the money. They've got to use the, the finances, the property as you intended. And if they don't, they can actually face criminal prosecution as well as civil prosecution. So it's a very, very powerful and important document to have in place just in case of incapacity. So incapacity, like I said, it already has to do with um, if you're in a car accident and you have, uh, you're in a coma. Um, for the case of my father-in-law, he's had a, a couple strokes lately and my wife is his power of attorney. So now all he has to do, because he can't write yet, he's gone through therapy, he knows what he's doing, he understands things, but he can't write a check, he can't physically write the check. So he can put things in an envelope, he sends them to our house, my wife takes care of it, she's got the power of, uh, of attorney, she's checked with all the banks, sent whatever she needs to to them, she's sent um, the power of attorney to um, his cell phone service is Verizon and we've got that switched up like we need to. She's just able to take care of whatever she needs to for him. So he's got the peace of mind that it's being done. She's got peace of mind that it's being done. And we didn't have to do anything other than prepare ahead of time. We did this uh, a few years ago to make sure everything was in place. Actually, we just updated a few years ago. We did it quite a few years earlier than that, um, but we needed to make some updates. So it's just such a relief for the family that we know he's being taken care of. And that is just, it's priceless. It really is peace of mind. So that document, so the power of attorney is a, is a document that's in place when you're alive and you're under incapacitation or just can't. Um, some people put a uh, power of attorney into place if they're going to be traveling for a month or if they're gonna be traveling for two months or they're just gonna be out of town or they want somebody to take care of things. I've had clients come to me and say, hey, I just don't wanna deal with my finances anymore. I want my son to be able to handle it. So we create a power of attorney and, and the son can handle everything. The, the mother still could but she just didn't want to deal with it anymore. It was getting a little complicated for her. So she just let him do it. And he was happy to, uh, to take care of her. And he did. So that document actually dies with the death of the person that gave the power of attorney. Okay, that means when the person dies, we need to now move to the will, or we're going to talk about a trust in a, in a little bit here. So um, I had, I had a, a client ask me this yesterday. So uh, a power of attorney, does that mean it, it's you that does that because you're an attorney? No, simply no, it's not an actual attorney. We call it an attorney. In fact, a power of attorney, it's just anybody that can act on behalf of somebody else. So it's not an attorney. It's, it's a, a close family member, a close friend, somebody that you trust implicitly with your finances, okay? So a couple different types. Standard is what we, what we just spoke about, durable. They're, they're all kind of, those two are kind of mixed together. Springing is not um, effective until inca incapacitation. So we write out the power of attorney and it's called the springing power of attorney and it just sits dormant until I become incapacitated when I can no longer act for myself and we have a doctor say, hey, Marty can't do this by himself anymore. He needs the power of attorney. Now that power of attorney can step in and take control. Now, Florida discontinued this in 2011, okay? So there are other approaches. 
you know, that, that we can talk about if, if there, there are ever any concerns about just handing power of attorney over to somebody. And we can talk about that um, when you schedule a time to meet with me. Gray, do you have the, the um, link that they can click on? Okay, if you could throw that up in the chat in the next couple of minutes here. Look I for will. the link and I'm offering a free consultation to everybody that's tuning in. Um, if the link doesn't pop up on the webinar, uh, we'll mail, we'll email it to you um, after the webinar. All right. So definitely uh, talk to you about any details of any of these documents that we're going through and how it fits your situation.